to start. Okay. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Bill Hanks here. Hey, um, we get a lot of questions about when the best time is to do um, cryotherapy, and um, wanted to look at it from a cellular metabolism and what it is that we're trying to do here. Um, basically, every cell in our body is um, either in two states. It's in um, a state of AMPK or it's in the state of mTOR, and mTOR is where it uh, proliferates and recreates, and AMPK is where the body's trying to get energy, and it's trying to pull from fatty acid uptake and to be able to produce more energy. So basically, we have two states that we can be in. We have AMPK or mTOR, and you're either in one or two of the states. <clears throat> and AMPK is really the state that we're after. This one is um, beautiful in, um, being able for our metabolism to use fat, um, to detox, to go through autophagy and all that. So um, uh, the AMPK, um, it helps us with weight loss, insulin sensitivity, and reduces inflammation. And then um, <clears throat> how we activate M AMPK is through fasting, exercise, sauna, and cold thermogenesis. So when people say, well, hey, when should I do cryotherapy? Well, actually, you should probably be doing it um, when you're fasted. So in a fasted state, it's going to upregulate AMPK, which is going to help you mobilize fatty acids, give your cells more energy, and just increase that whole system there. Now, mTOR, that's where you want to proliferate and recreate. This is where, unfortunately, 80% of most of our population is always in mTOR because mTOR is um, good because we need to build muscle, we need to have lean mass, but the problem is, is everybody spends their time over here and the only way that you can get out of mTOR and proliferate and create uh, and, and recreate is the fast exercise sauna and cold thermogenesis. So <clears throat> what cold thermogenesis is doing is you get that norepinephrine release, that norepinephrine blocks TNF-alpha, TNF-alpha is just like the cascade for inflammation. So it'll reduce the inflammation and help you help you um, feel better, improve your insulin sensitivity and weight loss. So when you're thinking about when you should cryotherapy and when might be the most optimal time, it's probably right before either working out, because it's gonna help your workouts, or first thing in the morning when you're fasted, or in the evening and you haven't thought you haven't ate in a while, but really what you're after is that AMPK. Now one other thing um, I wanted to announce, we've got like um, a lot of people buying glutathione from us, the liposomal. So we got just a new shipment in, which is great. So um, uh, glutathione is good in that detox phase, and that actually comes after AMPK. So um, when you have autophagy, when you're fasting, and AMPK is upregulate, upregulated, then your body can detox. You're not going to detox if you're always over here in mTOR. It's just all, you're not, you, no matter how many supplements you take, you're never going to be detoxing until you get AMPK upregulated. So, um, what AMPK does is it helps you mobilize those fatty, fatty acids, but now you've got to get all those um, toxins because fat stores all of our toxins. Now you've got to get those toxins out of your body. So adding some glutathione in there is going to help mobilize those toxins and help you get out. So. Um, so if you're um, in today or whenever, we got some glutathione. The good thing about our glutathione is we buy it in bulk, so it stays cold. Um, you want it to stay cold. If you buy it off Amazon, they just ship it in the mail and it gets warm and it loses some of its efficacy. So you definitely want to try to get it um, cold. Um, we get it in bulk, so when it arrives to us, it's still cold and we keep it in the fridge here. So anyways, wanted to go over AMPK. I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit on some of our videos and stuff. But um, this is really what you're after. You're after that right there. That's exercise, fasting, sauna, full thermogenesis. Those are going to help you um, reduce fat, improve insulin sensitivity, and just um, be able to create more energy. So I uh, hope everybody's having a good day and come in and see us. Thanks.